Hey everyone, so in this video we're actually going to go over the OVR metric tools. So if I bring the page over. So the OVR metric tools are a performance software, a performance application which allows us to monitor what's running on Android devices. So basically we can use this for the Oculus Quest to monitor our frame rate, heat, GPU and CPU. Basically all the information we need to debug our projects we can access using this tool. So I'll put a link in the description, but all it is is Oculus and then downloads package OVR metric tools. I'm gonna hit I have agreed. I'm gonna download. So go to downloads. Do that, that was pretty quick. So the show in folder, I'm gonna bring in and extract all. So what we need to do now is actually install this to our Oculus Quest. So mine's currently turned off at the minute, so I'm going to be back in a second after I turn it on and plug it into the computer. Excellent. So my headset's now turned on and it's installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open CMD and I'm going to search ADB devices. So you can see here, I've got it blurred out, but my headset's been detected. Okay, cool. So we got the download. I'm going to CMD ADB install. And then from there, I'm going to copy the shortcut link from the top. But you'll see that we actually have 1.4, it's not the APK. So because it's in the folder, we've got to do another backslash and then. OVRM metrics tools or tool underscore v one point four dot apk and now if we hit enter that's now installed to the headset hopefully <laughs> cool so we've start we've installed it that went pretty well all we've got to do now is actually launch excellent so I'm in the headset now uh, all we need to do since we've installed OVR is actually go to unknown sources we take a scroll down we find OVR metric tools or OVR metrics tools and then we can load that up and now you can see we've actually got our information that we can turn on and off so it says enable persistent overlay may require a reboot we're going to turn that on and nothing will happen straight away, but we can load up a project without having to reboot the headset and it'll still work. So I'll do that in a second. But you've got record all captured metrics to CSV files, which allows you to access them as well through your recorded sessions. So just up here, you can actually access them all. So that'll tell you that. Um, you've got a couple of other options, render GPU overlay. So I'll just give you a bit more stats. You just hit advanced and then go from there. It's the best way to do it. So what I'm going to do now is we've been, we've turned them on. And I'm going to hit library and I'm going to load up a project that I've been working on lately, which is an apartment. So if I do that, once it loads, you can see now we can actually see the stats and information on the headset in real time. So this just lets us know the information within the scene and how well it's running. This one's not running amazing and I'm getting some weird glitches in the scene as well that I'm trying to figure out. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this one. This hopefully will help you with your performance and your optimization of your scenes. Uh, it's a useful tool to have. Um, so if there's anything you want to see in the future or you're curious about, leave a comment below and I'll check it out and see if I can make a video on it for you guys. I'll do my best. Um, if you're new to the channel, I highly recommend subscribing because you'll be able to keep up to date with new content and tutorials that are coming out and hopefully more like this. If you just want somewhere to hang out and discuss VR and quest development on Unreal, we've got a Discord set up which is starting to fill up pretty quick. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. But for now, I hope that, hope that helps. I hope that's useful for some people. 
So yeah, all right, until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye.